Edo here, and this is Nia by Bruno Cathala and published by Blue Orange Games. Many of you probably know Blue Orange Games because they make a lot of fantastic um, kids games or family games like Spot It, Pengaloo, and just a wide range of cool titles. This was recommended to me after I did my Hanafuda review because obviously, or not me if you're not familiar, but the art direction is very similar in that traditional Japanese style. And, you know, between Blue Orange and, and the connection to the Hanafuda look, I picked it up and thought it'd be a fun play. Um, plays much more like a m more interesting version of Tic-Tac-Toe or Connect Four than it does like Hanafuda. But, so basically what you're trying to do in this game is each player has a number of these tokens. You'll notice they all have interesting, different, um, you know, portraits on them. They don't mean anything. And actually, the back has the logo in a really nice way. And we started playing with the, the tokens upside down because I found the faces distracting. But what you're trying to do is match, connect four, either a straight line, a diagonal line, a horizontal line, or you can also do a, a square. And what you do in order to play is the first player gets to pick where they want to go. And then each one of these cards essentially has two elements. It'll have an environment element, or like a sun, clouds, maybe a bird, and then a flower. And when you, once somebody's placed down, that's, that piece goes down at the front or the back, wherever you want to put it. And then the next player must take a card that either has the flower or the, uh, the plant or the, you know, the sun. So in this case, I could take this one, I could take this one because it has a shared common element. And then essentially, you're just working to cover the board, taking turns in order to get block, like in, in Connect 4 Tic-Tac-Toe, tic -tac -toe, and get the units correctly as you go um, to win. So, um, simple, fun, easy to use. I like that it has a combination between sort of that Connect 4 and figuring out how to, you know, use the combos to your advantage. One of the more interesting weird things is, much like tic-tac-toe, you can in fact end the game in a tie. Now, if you block, if, if a person doesn't have a move, they do lose. But if you just clear the board and no one's won, it's a tie. But actually, that case isn't covered in the instructions at all. Like, it's not even mentioned. It's, it's, it's pretty common. I was very surprised that they weren't like, oh, by the way, if you get a tie, like, bullet. Um, I had to look it up online and actually uh, I found a comment from the, the designer that mentioned it, but it just seems strange to me because, it, you know, it came up for sure because we in many of our games it comes up. Anyway, it's fun. It's a, it's, a, it's a good game. It's entertaining. It's lightweight. I like the aesthetic. It's not my favorite, but it's a fun filler that I've enjoyed on more occasions than when I picked it up originally. So this is Nia. Um, Nia. And otherwise... Subscribe, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. More importantly, play some good games. Thanks a lot. Bye.